David Robert Jones, known to the world as David Bowie or Ziggy Stardust, passed away Sunday, January 10, 2016, after a long bout with liver cancer. Though diagnosed with the malignancy 18 months ago, he had not made it public yet that he was suffering from the illness. Bowie's musical career, nearly 54 years in length since its start in 1962, left a lasting impression on popular culture. Considered one of the original creators of pop music, his innovative nature of stage and screen forever made him perhaps the most recognizable and unique music icon of the 20th century and even today. Legendary BBC One radio DJ John Peel in regards to Bowie's impact on music once quoted, The one distinguishing feature about early 70s progressive rock was that it didn't progress. Before Bowie came along, people didn't want too much change. After Bowie, there has been no other pop icon of his stature, because the pop world that produces these rock gods doesn't exist anymore. The fierce partisanship of the cult of Bowie was also unique. Its influence lasted longer and has been more creative than perhaps almost any other force within pop fandom. Bowie passed away, quote, peacefully at the age of 69. This month's issue of Food and Beverage magazine has announced it is officially renaming the drink Jack and Coke, Jack Daniels whiskey with regular Coke, to the Lemmy in honor of Lemmy Kilmister. Lemmy Kilmister passed away December 28th in Los Angeles after struggling with many health problems including cancer. Lemmy had been diagnosed with the disease just two days before his 70th birthday. The magazine's publisher, Michael Pollitz, quoted, We are honored to represent the industry and bring the moniker The Lemmy to every bar in the world. Owning a rock club with Anthrax's Scott Ian and Alice in Chains' Jerry Cantrell gave me the chance to meet Lemmy and experience his legend myself. Motorhead was a band which was revered by both metal and punk fans. Lemmy had become an icon for his musical talent and a living embodiment of the rock and roll lifestyle. Puddle of Mud singer Wesley Scanlon was recently arrested at his former home in the Hollywood Hills of California after allegedly breaking into the home, vandalizing it, and quote, destroying parts of it. Scanlon allegedly used a hatchet to break a window to the home and destroyed several pieces of audio equipment, security cameras, and an alarm system on January 9th. Wesley lost the home to foreclosure. This arrest is certainly not his first time in trouble with the law over the years. Last year alone, Scantlin was arrested at Denver Airport for riding a baggage carousel, was arrested in Minnesota for driving while intoxicated and subsequently leading police on a high-speed car chase, and arrested again in South Dakota for DUI, and arrested under possession of a controlled substance in Beverly Hills, California. Scanlon was released from his latest arrest after posting $20,000 bail after being booked alongside two other individuals who were arrested on trespassing charges. Dude, get your fucking life together. You're a grown ass man. There is no reason you need to constantly be going in and out of fucking jail because you can't admit that you have a drinking problem and a fucking drug problem. I've been there myself. Hell, shitloads of people that you've toured with and your band have been there your, themselves. And guess what? They're not fucking resorting to going in and out of jail for going back to their foreclosed house and breaking windows like a fucking asshole. Do you really want your entire music career to just be a joke cliff note on the ass of music history? Or would you like to go down in music history for doing something a little more meaningful than having a few handfuls of hit singles and being that guy who decided to get fucking wasted at an airport one day and ride a baggage carousel around? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Get it together. It's not bad for someone your age to admit they have a problem. In fact, I think a lot of people would respect that if you fucking did. Anyway, that's just my opinion that, you know, maybe Wesley Scantlin needs to admit that he's got a fucking drug addiction problem. Oi. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's episode of Some Guy Reads Some Metal Music News. If you've got a news story at hand that you think might be good for a future episode, feel free to shoot me a message on my Facebook fan page, which you'll find linked below, or just comment on this video in the comments section. Before we go officially for the day, I want to make a correction from my previous video, the album review of Mechanical Spin Phenomenon by Nemec. In that video, I said that this week, the review of its follow-up album, The Audio Injected Soul, would be coming this week. It's not. 
It's going to be coming next week. I've decided to update my album review schedule to a bi-weekly schedule. And the reason for this is that gives me time to shoot the video, edit the video, make sure that everything in it is put just right before uploading it so I'm not rushing myself out the door and putting review videos out. They're a lot more professionally done when you do it on a bi-weekly schedule. Now with that out of the way, I can get the fuck out of your hair for a while. I'm some guy on the internet and so are you. Have a metal as fuck week. Have a great one.